Season 7 is finally here, my boy. New dribble moves and new jump shots have been introduced, man. In this video, I am going to be showing you the best six for season seven. You know, I'm gonna give you the ultimate dribble tutorial so you can become a 90 win percent like myself. I have a 100 win percent and I always have a 96 plus every year. I stream live and I go on huge no squad win streaks. Never has been done and I'm cussing out my team, okay? So they throw the game or I get stream sniped and you know, comp players, you know, I, I win in no squad. That's with randoms, bro, okay? So it's like, give y'all the best settings, the best playmaking badges. And don't don't worry if you ain't got next gen, bro, boy. Because I'm gonna do it for current gen too, okay? I'm gonna do it for both. It, it applies the same, bro. It's basically like the same game, just different gameplay, but everything still works the same. The moves, how the badges work, etc. Now, firstly, before we get into all that, man, we are going to go over the new <laughs> season reward. So look, look, clothes cost too much, look, nothing. Th this looks clean, but by the way, pro tip, if you rock this, any type of ball trail, for some reason, it don't make you shoot as y'all. <laughs> Y'all, uh, <laughs> facts are, are next. Rate rate this season's uh rewards one through 10 down. Jump shot meter, ain't nothing, man. Just horrible, horrible plus one block. That don't really do nothing, man. You know, it don't really have an impact. NBA jerseys, okay, that's cool. You know, ain't nothing, bro. 30, you know, affiliation mascot, that's cool. I mean, but they should have mascots every season. You know, it should really, they should really just take Fortnite, like, and just do that off rip, like, you know, have little Jedi's running around, you know, like, everything should have a ability, extra ratings, and just uh, disgust me. 2K it got this uh, NBA mask, guys. It's, it's weak. It's weak. I rated a three, two, three, two, three, two, three on the season, man. I'm not even gonna go for it. Y'all, let me know if y'all gonna go for it. And uh, look gonna tell you about why this is the best playmaking badge setup but firstly make sure y'all turn on post notifications and like up the goddamn video y'all get this video to a thousand likes and i will do a hundred dollar giveaway this is the best okay i'm gonna go over this okay clamp breaker very important y'all might not see the animation of blowing past someone correct but listen when people guard you if you run no clamp breaker pay attention to this right here this is how you know it works when someone comes to guard you who has clamps or just just a like a good defender you know especially if he's compy you're gonna find yourself not being able to get past him in like the back court etc you know um you don't have as much as a of like a field around you so when he, he when he attaches to you, you gonna be stuck. And it's like, it's a whole different game. I feel so bad for a lot of the dribble gods and people that do not use clamp breaker, bro, because you're really playing a way harder game than you really have to. You have to max clamp breaker, bro. Seriously, it'll change your game and you, you just don't even know because you, you're probably thinking just blow by, blow by, but it's uh people's ability to clamp you, bro. You know, um, to body you. Like you, you gotta have clamp breaker on. Of course, handles for days max. You can't get away with it on the bronze. Quick first step. Of course, you know you gotta have that max hyper drive. Okay. Wait. Let Let's do bailout. Okay. Bailout. You gotta have it at least bronze. I never bail out, but it's very useful. Bronze, you can get almost every pass off, especially if you learn how to do it. Silver is where you really, but you know, if you didn't got the points, you Gucci. But hyper drive, it's very good for spin backs and all different type of it's okay, right? But a move something like killer combos, amazing. Ankle breakers, dribble faster, all that, but the best badges that you need to focus on, okay, that are the most important in playmaking is Clamp Breaker, Quick First Step, and Unpluckable. After you get these maxed, then you can do everything else, like the Handles for Days, okay? Handles for Days will be after those three badges. And then you would want to, you know, do the Bailout, Hyper Drive, and Killer Combos, right? that's what you would want to do next if you're not a bailout player or trying to learn how to become one you can do without bailout 
for some reason I, I I'm trying to become more brain dead but it's it's like hard for me you know especially since I don't play very much it's hard but yeah um hyperdrive you know I, I've rocked it with none and I, I still score 21 whenever I want killer combos <laughs> That badge is immaculate, bro. I'm trying to tell you. But you you don't really need those. So now it just goes, it, it doesn't really matter. Everything else is really personal preference. But Clamp Breaker handles for days. You know, Clamp Breaker, quick first step, unpluckable, then handles for days. Those are the top four badges, bro. Now here are my settings, man. I see a lot of y'all have trigger effect on. Please take that off in the PlayStation and in your controller settings, bro. Like figure out how to take it off. I play with random so much, I hear it. Little kids, grown men, take it off. You are ruining your gaming experience. Ooh, the guard on. And like, like for instance, another reason why I like current gen way more than next gen is the time investment, bro. You don't have to invest so much time to really see the ability of your build and experience with different badges, bro. Like, you have to core Clamp Breaker. You have to core Killer Combos. You have to core Unpluckable. You have to get all, the, you don't have to do that on current. So th think about it. 90% of players are not maxing out their builds and coring all these badges like really finishing and getting the core option so that's the why like current gen is a way less time investment you max out your builds faster you get to play the game faster that's why like next gen is lame bro like i don't have to core i don't have to core stuff i could just play you feel me almost everyone i know they never finish their builds bro like and to really see the real ability and then they have like 10 plus builds it's like bro you might like if you if you're really trying to have a better experience current gen is just a better game bro it might not look as good and stuff but current the gameplay is 100 percent better right the skill gap is higher there's more comp here but you know it just don't look as clean but it's just a better experience for your time but it, it's up to you man <laughs> boost you need gym rat okay now, i don't have gym rat on this build but listen you need gym rat it gives you the effects of plus four for all your physical okay or you could just do your drills but make sure you do it okay? um you need gatorade you don't have to but if you want to shoot better and dribble way better and deal with the adrenaline way better you need gatorade at least one or two of them and you gucci but they're they're, they're stealing from us you don't have to do that okay um yeah you see these physicals over there everything get the feeling of plus Plus four like the skill boost that you buy it's no more it raises plus four anymore this is for current and next gen bottom john stockton worthless best dribble style still michael jordan i don't have a build with a 90 speed with ball uh if y'all do hit me up let me know um i already tested all these sigs in the beginning of the year i don't really think this is nothing to really talk about so I don't really know where to rank this. If y'all know anything, let me know down in the comments, bro. Now look, your dribble style, man. Chelsea Gray is horrible. You can't even speed boost. The whole development team is garbage. I bet you they didn't even test this out. Next Maker's trash. Anyone who flies out there, trash. There's so many dribble moves where you can't speed boost out of, and I don't even think they know. You can't speed boost out of this, don't waste. Michael Jordan is the best dribble style. Then you can say like Chris Paul and then the Gabby, but Michael Jordan is the one to go with, okay? If you can't get Michael Jordan, you know you can mess with the Gabby. And yeah, Jamari ain't good too, but you can only do the 22 misdirections really on that hoe. This, uh, ain't really about nothing. Donovan Mitchell is up there at the top tier with the T-Max. You know, the Giannis, etc. cetera. It, it can actually be like a new Sig size up, man, to be honest. John Walls, uh, you know, this is, uh, you know. It does like a weird uh, slow stutter thing. So like for comp gameplay, it ain't really. And you get delayed speed boost. Now for signature size ups, Jason Tatum. This is horrible. Um, you can't do your fastest left right speed boost very fast the other dribbles are kind of cool and all that 
but you can't do your normal left right fast okay so this is a no-go another signature size up that was released was damian lillard this is another horrible one um there's a delay when you try to uh burst to the left or the right so it's a uh, it's, it's not it's not usable really now this is for big builds i'm i'm gonna show y'all the small build six too don't worry mike bibby is decent it's okay okay your signature size up it's okay um it's a delay speed boost but you could dribble around quick with it so it's worthless um allen iverson you can dribble around with it quick but it's like a delay speed boost so worthless um kobe white um i think i tried it worthless <laughs> But like dribble god style, it could be cool, but like comp wise, worthless. Now my favorite size up for uh, big builds is Giannis because you get the fastest speed boost. But if you don't like Giannis because you like to um, right stick dribble, you don't stand still dribble, then you can use T-Mac or DeRozan or Wade, etc. Darren Fox, but um, my favorite is Giannis or T-Mac. Those are my top two. Kemba Walker escape can actually be a top tier uh, size up package. Um, there used to always be like a speed glitch. It kind of come back like um, KD in a sense. Um, so it it and it is easier to crab. So it can be a new norm. You know. It, it, it's up there with the uh, the KDs and all that. It's, you know, good little sig. It ain't nothing crazy. This something different to use, man. Now, the size up escape. This is the best season six dribble move. Um, Now, finally, y'all can spam the behind the back misdirection and have a, a low ball handle. You usually need like an 89 to get the John Wall, I think, I believe. All you need is an 80 now. So now y'all can rock with this if y'all want this it's gonna help your combos um it got a decent step back nothing crazy but it's not horrible it has like nice um r2 movements it's real it's 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 a nice size up bro it's dope i like it man but i don't know if i would put it over the um kd may uh, i mean but it's it's 80 ball handle right so yeah, like John Wall, you need 89. Steph Curry, you need 92. Kevin Durant, you need 75. See, I don't know. I don't know. Um, The misdirection, I think, is probably lower than the one they give you on KD. So, yeah. You know, test it out. Now, escape size up. This is actually a good escape size up. If y'all want me to drop a dribble tutorial, um, hand cam, just get this uh, video to 500 likes and I got you, my boy. This is actually good, man. It has nice misdirections. It has the Luka step back, which is decent. In 22, you got a speed glitch out of it, but it's still good now. Like, it's actually usable. It's different. But um, besides this, um, I would say John Wall's my favorite. It gives you faster momentums and faster misdirections. But if you don't like that, then KD would be second for the escapes and then like Kobe, etc. I'll, I'll always say Kevin Durant. AI crossover, the uh, attack size up version is horrible, but um, just coming down the court doing it is cool. Um, for legendary players like this, it should have like a higher stun effect. They can't be doing like top tier people like this. I, I, don't, I don't know, 2K tripping. Right. Moving cross over J. Cole. This is an okay moving cross. It's kind of cool. It gives you a different move. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it, man. It's, it's okay. Still on next gen. Um, it's Russell Westbrook, my boy. This Luka moving cross is trash. I don't really like it. The John Wall moving cross is trash. Man, my favorite moving crosses are James Harden, Chris Paul, and Russell Westbrook, you could choose between the, the three, which one you wanna pick. Chris Paul makes you like dribble better, but it's not like a super attack and size up, go crazy thing. 
Now they finally put the Scotty Pippen, bro. I think this is supposed to be Pro 3. They completely ruined Pro 3 for no reason. This is basically like Pro now. I don't know why they be like ruining moves. It looks like Pro moves faster, bro. So <laughs> 2K, like was was Pro 3, Scotty Pippen, like was it just so game breaking? No, bro. Just upgrade all the other behind the backs y'all always nerf stuff it's horrible 2k i don't know the difference between these two bro so <laughs> i just be picking ai bro i don't know moving spins this this ain't about nothing man you can't even spin back with it moving spin basic of course moving has it uh, uh. moving step back uh, uh. Now, going into season seven, these will be the SIGs I will be rocking overall, man. Um, The six size of, I will be rotating between this and T-Mac, but I believe these are the best for six, five and up, best SIGs for six, five and up builds. Huh. <laughs> you feel me? I'm gonna rock with the Mitchell, man. It, it seemed nice. I like it, bro. I like it. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the Mitchell. Actually, actually, I'm going to rock the Kimba. I actually like the new Sigs. I'm going to rock them. But other than that, you know, this would be T-Mac, and then this would be KD for a big build, big ISO build. Now, for little build Sigs, these are the type of uh, Sigs I would rock. And, um, yeah, I believe these are the best Sigs for little build Sigs, man. Of course, you know, comp players will use John Wall, but I, I like to step back. I don't know. I play different. I kind of play like a big build, even on a small build. And, um, yeah, bro. Actually, bro, man, I rock the Kemba on the escape. I ain't going to hold you, man. It's a little more crabby. It got the quick jump. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Hey, man. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest 2K in existence. And look, man, in my travels and tribulations, man, I've come across a lot of randoms. And 99% uh, of the player base who do not know how to dribble, who do not know how to ISO, who do not know how to score off ball, okay? In this dribble tutorial hand cam, current gen and next gen, it is exact same. I will be showing you how to do all the comp moves, become a stage comp PG as simple as possible, bro. I know for some of y'all, might be oh this is all easy you know you might learn something so you might want to watch the full video but in general bro people do not know how to score off dribble bro go play with anyone any random which is majority of the player base they don't know how to do any they don't know how why it is all broken down in this video if you want the best sigs go check out my last video for any build this is for small builds and bigger builds because the dribble moves all work the same i'm showing you how to do it on every k okay? so um yeah y'all drop a like for the uh w tutorial you know a lot of people don't want this information out there they want to keep beating up on you as easy as possible because they don't have no skill when someone knows exactly what they know that's why i started putting on the whole community with these tutorials in 2k15 man people just want to beat up on bums all day i'm here to give you the knowledge knowledge is power y'all hit that like button if you agree as you hold r2 you don't have to hold r2 but i find it easier to chain with holding R2, if you hold R2, you flick your right analog up, and then you're gonna flick your left stick, oppo, whatever the ball is in, and then you continuously keep doing it. You see the spider, I'm comboing it with the attack size up and the snatch back. You see, I'm just combining all that. To do your attack size up, all you do is hold R2 and flick your right analog up, and you do it once, and then you could do like a spam. This is the hardened spam. You just uh, keep flicking it up, and you can hold R2. This is the hard and spam. That's your attack size up. Burst out either way. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you the behind the back misdirection. Now look, here's the misdirection spam. Man, this is really all fulfilling, but I really do southeast. Like right here, since the ball's in my left hand, I would do southeast on my right stick and then southwest on my left stick while holding R2. I uh, kind of mess it up. I might be explaining it, Appa, but y'all can see the stick, right? And you could just spam this uh, or add it to your combos.
Now, this is probably the fastest speed boost in the game, kind of. Uh, you hold R2 and you flick your right stick like inwards and your left stick inwards. And you'll get this. And then to do it the other way, you you know, y'all see what I'm doing. You just go oppo. And that's the fastest speed boost in the game right there. Now I'm going to show you the same side. Basically, you just hold R2 and uh, you could just, you know, stop, say you're left, right or whatever. You just hold R2 and then you just go and you, you, you would do it again. But you see, I'm out of adrenaline. Now, look, to do the momentum spam, you're going to flick your left stick upwards type um, diagonally upwards while you flick your right stick up. And that's how you like do a momentum. You see, this is how you do a momentum. You don't even have to hold R2. I don't really know how to dribble without R2, kinda. Um, I'm sure it's easier, but you can't chain as good without R2. So this is the way I do it. So I'm holding R2 and then, uh, you see how I just spam momentum? You see how I spam that hole? And then if you wanna throw it between your legs, you have to go lower on your left stick and throw it between your legs and do like a east-west. Now I'd be lagging online, so I can't like dribble like this cause it's gonna give me some long dumb cross and I'm gonna get ripped. It's mad annoying, the lag delay. I don't know how other people like really do it like all the time. And don't be getting ripped. I don't know if they like make it to where they don't lag delay, but I don't know. I, I can't do it, bro. Like I'll mess up and y'all see, you see that cross right there. It'll make me do that whole online. That shit is annoying. This shouldn't even be in the game, bro. I don't know what's, what's wrong with that. Mike went to take it out the game, bro. Like, don't you want people to rather dribble like this? It'll make the game way more fun. But you got that stupid ass cross that don't do shit. You feel me? Now to do the spin back, you have to kind of be going um forward. And to do the spin back, you have to say you're going same ball. Say you're going left. And you have to bring it from the north and you know go counterclockwise, right? Bang. Bang. You see? Bang. You see? If you're messing up, it's cause you're not forward enough. I, I mess up with it all the time. But um this is the basics on how to do it. I'm sure there's a different trick to always go forward. Cause that's how like Steezo be spamming that hoe. If y'all got any tips to help people, please uh comment it down below. Um and yeah. Now look. What, no matter what dribble moves you use, your fastest speed boost is going to be your northwest or northeast. Okay? Like this. This is going to be your fastest speed boost, okay? If you do it like between the legs, just straight west or east, it's not going to be as fast. If y'all didn't know, um, yeah. You want me to show you how to misdirection without the John ja Moran? I don't know if like this is like a real thing. Um, I'm probably the first one to like figure this out. But, um, you know, I got the Jordan dribble style on. Basically, what you're going to do is you're not going to hold R2. You're going to flick it, your uh, your right stick, top oppo. And then right when you're about to bring it back, then that's when you press R2 and you'll get this animation. You see that? It's not as cold, but it's like it kind of serves the same purpose. If you try to do it like you can with Ja Morant, and the old way in 22, it's not gonna, you're gonna get a slow animation. Uh, uh that kind of worked. Well, no, it didn't. Um, like basically, damn. I don't know. That, you're gonna get that slow shit. You can, you, y'all see what I'm doing, right? 
you can get the misdirection with other shit. You just got to do it in a, a, a sneaky way. You see? That's sneaky. Damn, so the John Morant might not be as useful if you can really, like, get it every time. You see that? You know? Cheese God Swan. To show y'all is how to dribble faster, okay? It's like a glitch. You could do it on all builds. Um, I hear it's not above 6'10. Trends found this. Um, I don't know. People choose who they be giving uh credit to. <laughs> you know, I done found so much stuff over the years, these years, but they never give me my credit. My boy is crazy. But look, all you have to do is hold R2 and you're going to hold your right analog southwest or southeast, whichever the ball hand is in. And you're going to do this. After you do this, it's going to activate a speed glitch. You got to reset it after every possession. Um, now, I don't know this for sure, but um for smaller guards six four and under i believe it's kyle Lowry you have to have on and for bigger guards i believe it's jason tatum i don't know if you can use devin booker okay so if y'all know let me know but after you do that for the whole possession you basically move stupid fast okay like you see that like you you see that like that's not normal speed bro <laughs> okay you can just speed boost around and you're super fat now the second move i want to show you which is like the best move for a three in the game but you have to have the jamorian dribble style on is the front misdirection just like the 2k22 all you're going to want to do is flick your hand north oppo ball hand and then just go the same way you had the ball okay so you're gonna you see you see that glitch like but this is the no one's used to it okay this is a you know kill him done okay this is my new like favorite move now i'm gonna show you how to properly walk back man now how you walk back is you act like you're going to go dunk and then what you have to do is you have to hold your left stick southeast or southwest it can't just be straight back like at last year's like for instance like i'm gonna go um now look to properly walk back you have to get deep in the paint right and then you go like watch i'm gonna give you an example like look and then you and it gives you a fast walk back the defense is so bad that you can walk back at that speed and have a three it's crazy but you only use your left stick you don't do nothing else you just stop you let go of everything and then you go back okay it has to be in unison you, you saw where my my left stick was i'll do it again one more time now to do what they call the ass to slide you just move forward north and just flick your right analog stick back and uh you do this okay if you want my sigs it's in my last video i have all the best sigs for all the best heights and best for every build you can use, I go over the six completely. Go watch that video and you'll understand. But yeah, you just flick it and you ask the slide and that's the move that's being used. Now look, I'm gonna show y'all how to do the adrenaline glitch too, just hold on. Now to do the Kyle Lowry glitch back, you do the ask the slide and then you hold your, your right stick down again. You see, you see that teleport? Like I just flick it with no turbo. I flick my right analog stick down with no turbo. And then when I want to activate the big hop back, that's like a three every time or something, uh, I hold R2 and the right stick down. You see? Kills them. You teleport back fast and they're not going to be ready for it. Now to not lose adrenaline ever again. Okay, you might see comp guards like comp pro am people how they're not losing adrenaline is say you do a move, you see how I didn't lose adrenaline, you can't go far, right? You can just go and then you can make people think that you ran out of adrenaline when you really didn't. Because if you spam the shorts, the short movement, then you know you can really mess people up. You see, you see how I'm not losing adrenaline. Now, if you combo it, do all this other movement, you know, and then you like, you go, now I'm messing it up. I have not practiced it. I don't really like to do this. Cause I don't want to like mess up the game, <laughs> but it's getting out there, man. That's basically how you lose no adrenaline. Like, look, 
You see how I'm losing no adrenaline? Now it could be mastered, all that other stuff. Now look, I'm gonna show you the snatch back the easiest way I do it. Y'all let me know your way. I hold R2 and then I just flick the right analog up and the left stick down. And then that's how you get the snatch back and you can spam it. It's a very good move, man. You, can, you know, you could combo and you don't lose adrenaline when you do it. Y'all let me know what else y'all wanna see down below. Um, what you need tutorials on, what you need help with any other type of dribble moves i can go way more in depth with stuff on how like i iso and do stuff you know just let me know down below i'll help y'all out badges with whatever y'all need man let me know build i am the greatest i am the most knowledgeable y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you know hit that like button make sure you follow my twitch link is in the description go check out my other videos and uh click one of these two videos man but hey hey here we go again yeah. here we go again we're talking this for when this hit the fan Everything I'm at made me Now break it down Yo Off the top of the dome, dome.